Welcome back, traders and investors. Second portion of our show, Market Movers. Uh, starting with a stock that had some good earnings yesterday and has been having one heck of, heck of a run. Uh, Rackspace, R-A-X, beats the street, uh, 18 cents versus 15 uh, nothing but good news for this stock, folks. Um, it's taken off in the after-hours markets. Has peaked out at 54.35. I would keep an eye on that stock, uh, that area for resistance in rack space. Uh, coming back on the downside, uh, the lowest we've traded in quite a while has been 53.13. So use that 53.13 as minor support. Uh, if, in fact, it can't hold that area. Uh, really nowhere to go but back down to yesterday's high at 49.57. Moving on to our next component, MSG, Madison Square Garden. Uh, for you out there that are not sports fans, uh, Jeremy Lin, Lin Mania, um, has swept uh, the Big Apple. Uh, the Knicks are on a five-game winning streak, and uh, that has uh, boosted that stock from $30 up to $33. Um, in the words of our uh, famous uh, former Federal Reserve President, uh, Alan Greenspan, if that's not irrational exuberance, I don't know what is. Uh, I don't know what the market cap of um, MSG is, but if you're going to relate that to points that uh, Jeremy Lin is scoring, uh, I certainly hope he doesn't get hurt for uh, MSG stockholders. Uh, looking at the stock from yesterday, it hit a euphoric high there at 33.18, uh, peeled back to settle at 32.32. 32. Uh, not doing a whole lot in the pre-market. I would keep an eye on that that 33, uh, 33 18 level from yesterday, which uh, yesterday's high. Uh, use your close as a swing number 32 32. Uh, but coming back um, under 31 41, uh, the stock could easily test the two day low at 30 85. Uh, moving on to our no next component, uh, HMA, Health Management Associates, um, is currently trading up uh, 31 cents in the pre-market. It uh, affirmed its 2012 forecast. Uh, the street took that as uh, good news. Uh, really, that stock has been holding uh, $7 as major resistance. Um, it's busted above there. It's hitting 745 in the pre-market. Boy, that coincides uh, with some highs that this stock um, had in uh, in January. Uh, I would just have to be real careful buying this stock off the open since you're going to be running into some major resistance. Uh, coming back on the downside, I expect to find support at that old high, uh, 707. So let's just call it the $7 area. Uh, below that, uh, you know, been pretty tight range down here 687 687 was yesterday's low and close at 690 so look for uh, resistance in that 745 to 750 area for HMA uh, moving on to our next market mover uh, Chesapeake Energy uh, don't tell this stock that there's been a monster rally on Wall Street uh, after hitting $30 in October uh, this stock has sold off and hit a low of 2054, but over the last uh, couple weeks, it's really been holding this 22 to 24 range. Uh, currently trading at 2260. I mean, they're doing an expanded uh, public offering. Expanded public offering means more stock on the street. That means more dilution. Dilution is never good for shareholders. Uh, but look for this 22 range if it comes into play today to be support. And I don't think you could get real excited um, about owning this stock until it gets up over the $24 level. Uh, moving on to our next uh, market mover, uh, a Michigan company, Masco Corporation. Uh, fourth quarter loss of a buck sixty-five. Uh, currently trading down 92 cents in the pre-market. Uh, folks, you got to keep in mind that this stock was trading under $7 in October. Uh, rallied up yesterday, uh, coincidentally, to hit a high of 13.29. 
Uh, so you can see definitely going to see some profit taking in this stock. Uh, looking on the daily charts, I mean, there's a whole host of support um, at the $12 level. Uh, we seem to be bottoming out here in the pre-market at 12.21. Uh, so look for major support in this thing for 12.21 down to 12 dollars. Uh, below that, 11.50 looks like good support. Uh, coming back on the upside, I'm sure if you get anywhere near uh, the 12.64 level, which was the low on uh, on uh, Friday in 12.82, which was yesterday's low, you'll find some good resistance. And finally, uh, moving on to our final market mover, um, a Dow component, uh, Boeing, uh, closes a, uh, a huge order, probably one of the largest orders in the history of uh, any company in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, the stock is getting a boost in the pre-market, currently trading at 75.65. Uh, we got a pre-market high at 75.80, so let's keep an eye on that level. Uh, for me to be happy owning this stock, I'd really like to see it hold 75.50. So I've been trading in that area in the pre-market. Uh, that is also uh, a double top from Friday and Monday in an area where that stock broke out from. Uh, as far as major resistance go, uh, we had a, a high on February 3rd at 76.74. Well, there's a few of uh, your market movers for you. It seems like the uh, S&Ps are the real market mover here. Uh, having a real volatile session here in a half hour before the opening bell. Uh, currently trading down uh, four points. Uh, still look for resistance at, that, at the close at 1349. All the way up to that major level at 1352. Uh, perhaps is this going to be the day we could finally get a significant sell-off in the market? I don't know. But as long as that 1352 holds, I think that's the way to play it. That's our Market Mover show for today, folks. I uh, hope we provided you with some good trading information. And we will be back with you tomorrow.